everyone, welcome back to another episode of Culinary College. Today, we're going to be spicing up some instant ramen. To do that, you're going to need a package of instant ramen, some sriracha sauce, an onion, a couple of shiitake mushrooms, some green onion, and some ginger. These are the ingredients I'll be working with today, but you can go ahead and add anything you want. Hard boiled egg, any sort of meat or protein like tofu, pork, beef, chicken. It all comes out real well. All right, so I've got about two cups of water on the stove to starting to boil already. You're just gonna wanna put however much your uh, instant ramen says to boil uh, and just go from there. Now I'm gonna start cutting up some of the ingredients. I'm gonna start with my ginger. You're gonna wanna cut the ginger up pretty small. Now that I've cut up my ginger, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my mushrooms. Now you can leave these mushrooms as big or as small as you want. It's really personal preference, much like the guacamole that we did in the last episode. Soup building is where you can be kind of creative. Now that I've cut up all my mushrooms, I'm gonna go ahead and just do a little bit of onion. You don't need too much, especially since we've got green onion too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it up pretty small. I'm gonna be using this smaller green onion for the soup, and I'm gonna be saving the larger one for the garnish on top once the soup is done. All right, so now that my water is boiling, we get to start adding the ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the stock that comes, into the, that comes in the instant ramen. We got our soup base and some spice. Go ahead and add that. I personally like to add just a dash of sriracha because I'm a big sriracha guy. And finally, we're going to add our chopped up vegetables. Now that we've added all those, just go ahead and give it a stir. Then you're gonna to wanna to replace the lid and let it boil for probably around six to 10 minutes. Just to start cooking those vegetables and getting the flavor profiles to mix. All right. Now that the soup's boiled for probably around 10 minutes, uh, the onions are translucent, and it's time to add our noodles. I like to break mine up just a tad. Makes them a bit easier to manage. We're gonna let them sit for about two to three minutes. All right, it's been three minutes and our soup is looking good. All right, so now we're gonna chop up our garnish here, some more green onion. Pro tip, if you save this, you can put it in dirt and another green onion will grow straight out of it.
Now that we've got that chopped up, it's time to plate. Add your garnish. I like to add a little sriracha on the top. And that's how you make some spiced up instant ramen. As always, let us know if you tried the recipe. And thanks for watching.